this morning. What does Kenny Chesney need to throw a party in the park? Well, that and a live morning concert you can't miss. It's Good Morning America's Summer Concert Series, presented by Famous Footwear. Hello to our fans online. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Friday, August 9th. Flash flooding is a threat again today for the center of the nation. Yesterday, this infant was among those who had to be rescued from rising waters in Tennessee. His frantic parents had taken refuge in the attic when firefighters arrived. A woman in Missouri was killed after her car was washed off of a flooded bridge. Strong winds are challenging crews that are battling those wildfires east of Los Angeles. 26 homes have burned. Officials say that number could increase quickly. 14,000 acres have been scorched. The fire is only 20% contained. Hundreds of people spending a second night away from home as evacuation orders remain in effect. President Obama has selected 16 people to receive the prestigious Medal of Freedom. Former President Bill Clinton, Oprah Winfrey, and Gloria Steinem will be among the recipients, along with other prominent activists, athletes, scientists, and musicians. And the folks at the National Zoo in Washington, they're over the moon this morning, welcoming the arrival of two new Sumatran tiger cubs. They were born last Monday. They weigh about two pounds each. They don't have names yet. In fact, we don't even know what sex they are, and we'll know that in a few weeks. Zookeepers say that they seem to be healthy, and they won't be allowed to go outside for about four more months. They weigh How cute two are those, right? pounds each. Yes. That's why it's so easy to fall in love with them. Plus, they're just so adorable. Absolutely. And then they grow into mama. huge mamas and papas. But and you don't want to have anything to do with them when they get yeah. huge. Yeah, no doubt about that. But boy, are they cute now. <laughs> yes, they are. Get more news anytime at ABCnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.